Hi everybody, this is my friend, No ID, Phalaenopsis. I just did an emergency repot of it. It was in a regular container and it was in ceramics and leka, but she soaks her plants and so most of the roots died. And so I just did emergency repotting. I put it into a much smaller container because it doesn't have that many roots. And also because I don't have any more containers. So I have a little tiny right there. That's for the um, semi-hydro. And as you can see, it's got the sun damage. That's sunburn on the leaves. Your plants can get sunburn. It's got some damage on this side. See that? And then you can see all the veins. It's very dehydrated. Almost all the roots that were in the pot were rotted. It is putting out a new leaf. The new leaf isn't exactly... It's a little funky. So hopefully it'll start developing normally now. And it'll, all, and it'll correct itself. It's probably just... That tip is probably going to be really funky. Look at that thing right there. What is that? It's like a little hook right there so weird but it could be a sign it was dehydrated the roots are not the greatest but whatever roots it has is in here and hopefully it starts to develop new roots like this one right here is all shriveled up but it's still coming out there's a root coming out right here so that should go into the media it should put out new roots I'm not gonna water this guy I boiled the me I reused the media it came in I boiled it and I noticed after I boiled it and then I ran cold water because I don't want to work with boiling hot media and we're not exactly trying to boil the plant. I noticed that the ceramics and the leka doesn't float after you boil it. So I don't know if that's a thing or if it's just... That's the first time I noticed that. I really haven't had a chance to reuse my ceramics and leka, so I haven't really boiled mine. But I did this, especially because the container looked like it had some algae and I wanted to kill it. So I boiled everything and then I just reused it. Recycling. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this potting video. And then I'll give it back to her once it's better. And then once it grows bigger roots, it's just easy to pluck it out and put it into something bigger. Or I can always cut the container off and then put it into some bigger container because it's going to need a bigger container. It's got big roots. It had a big root system. So it's used to being something bigger. But right now, it's got no roots. And they like to be in a tight container. Roots like to be snug. In nature, they wrap themselves around the tree branches. They go really snug and secure. So, so right now I put it into a smaller container. Hopefully it feels safe. Now that it's safe and secure, and I'll put out more roots. And once the roots come out, then I'll transplant it into a bigger container. And then I'll be able to give it back to my friend. So he's going to go on my windowsill. I'm going to let him dry out. I think he needs to dry out because the roots were really black. I got rid of all the algae. I sprayed him with hydrogen peroxide. And hopefully now he's on his way to recovery. If anything like my other plants are in semi-hydro, they really quickly recover. If you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Happy growing. Bye.